Hey, my name is Captain Pat Deneen with Flyliner Charters in the Destin, Florida area. And I'm on board the Skeeter SX210 to uh, show you a few features about this boat. I've been amazed with how much storage space Skeeter has uh, designed into these boats, even a smaller one like the 21. This bow section has got four main hatches. The center hatch is probably the largest of the four. Most people keep their PFDs, their, their safety equipment, their fire extinguishers in it. The starboard side is set up as a fish box, but could be used for other purposes. But the, the reason I say it's set up as a fish box is because the drainage for this box is overboard rather than into your bilge. So you don't have, have a messy fish ice water running down into, into your boat, it goes overboard. The port side is a matching locker to this one, except for it's designed for rod storage. And you can put five fully rigged spinning rods or fly rods below deck, out of sight, and did I mention that all of these hatches are also lockable? So if you got your boat on the trailer and you have valuables in there, you can lock it up and you don't have to worry about it walking away while you're away from your boat. And then finally on the upper section of the bow is the anchor locker. It's set up to hold two Danforth anchors inside here with anchor and road. The hatch is notched so that once you deploy your anchor, you can close and have, have that flush deck again. All right, Skeeter has done a fine job, um, not just with deck storage, but with the way they've designed their center console. The, this console comes with four vertical rod holders on either side, so for a total of eight rods. It has a bait well on the front side of it with a double lid system for sealing in. For, if you're running choppy, it's, it's sloshing around, and you're not gonna get water coming out of this one. It's also set up where it can be plumbed from fresh water coming overboard straight into the boat or into the live well, or it can recirculate. And both of those pumps are also set on a timer where they will cycle on and off. So if you're, for instance, trailering your boat down the highway and you have live baits in here, uh, you can just put it on the recircle function, recirculate function, and let it cycle. You won't drain your battery and you'll have a nice fresh baits when you get to the boat ramp. Additionally, the backrest flips down where you can access the inside of the console. You can get to your fuses, your wiring, and also, it can be used as additional storage. And that's a theme that you'll see throughout a Skeeter boat is the amount of storage below deck that these boats afford. All right, we talked about the front section of, the, of this 210 SX. Let's talk about the, the helm station here. Uh, first off, it's Yamaha powered. The Skeeter boats are Yamaha powered. This, all of them have electric shift, smart gauges so that you can monitor your engine diagnostics, not just your RPM, but your fuel flow, your economy, your oil pressure, your block temperature, your your water pressure. So it, it, I call them smart gauges, you know, because they're they're pretty pretty useful. Your switches for your your systems are located conveniently right here on the helm station. It comes with a large dash area, so you can mount you know one large uh, multifunction display, or if you like, you can go size it down to maybe a nine inch or a ten inch, and still have room for a radio or VHF or whatnot. Um, it's C-Star steering system, which is smooth and, and, and very reliable. And not only does it have access to the helm station from the front side, it has a drop-down hatch here where you can access your battery switch, your batteries, not just your uh, house battery, but your, your electrolyte motor batteries. The rocket launcher helm seat area has a drop-down bench, so you can store. I, what I do is I keep my fishing tackle in here that I use and have to access you know, regularly. My, my Plano box is full of jigs, hooks, sinkers, swivels. And then finally, it has more rod storage. Six rods on the back side of the rocket launcher and a drop-down footrest for when you're sitting and traveling. This boat is built for fishing and comfort. The stern section of the, the, the Skeeter SX210, um, every Skeeter comes with standard equipment, an Engel cooler. This one's an Engel 80. They're known for their durability as also their ice keeping capability. I, I know I love mine. Again, the flush mount cleats, two rod holders, one on each side for trolling. And this is a feature that my customers really love. Not only do we have a large casting deck on the stern of the boat, you know, that has plenty of room for walking and casting while you're fishing, but when you're running, every Skeeter Bay Boat Series has a flip up jump seat. And once your, your customers or your clients or your friends discover this seat, every time this boat goes from A to B, they're gonna be popping that open and sitting there because the ride is that comfortable. Finally, it also has 
they call the live well. We've got the bait well on the front side of the console, which is a little bit smaller than the live well. A lot of people use this for, as a release well. Uh, if they're redfish and they want to keep the fish alive, I prefer just to use this one as a bait well because of the capacity. This particular Skeeter SX210 comes with a Yamaha 150, an extremely reliable power package. Um, this boat is rated for 200 if you'd like to go for the uh, optional upgrade. The nationally advertised price for this boat is this package right here with the 150 on it. This is Captain Pagetine, Flyliner Charters in the Destin, Florida area. The Skeeter SX210 is a great bay, near shore uh, fishing platform that you could also use as a, as a family fun vessel. I hope you enjoy the SX210 and stop by your local dealer and check them out in person.